Greetings, brothers. It's been a while uh, since we've uh, spoken. Uh, I know that uh, at times uh, we uh, we get busy doing things that uh, uh, take away from sometimes the priority of the message of truth and the gospel message out of the Bible. But uh, we're here to uh, let you know that we're going to be doing a series of videos, uh, probably close to 800 videos will be uploaded over the next uh, few months uh, to uh, remind us that truth will prevail and that evil and what is legal will fail. And so uh, we're going to deal with this video. The subject matter is negotiable instruments. And because of the very fact that the majority of the free man on the land movement the sovereignty movement, the patriot movement that has, uh, I would say, unfortunately contaminated uh, the movement of truth because of their lack of knowledge, their lack of the system they're in, the lack of doing a due diligence research uh, has led many astray. And so we'll be counteracting a lot of that uh, in fact, some will actually believe that what we're saying actually is in some manner uh, working in coherence with the system that has attacked these sovereignty movements because the OPCA, which is noted as basically a organized pseudo-legal commercial argument game that has happened very prevalently in Canada through many little factions. We're not going to target one versus the other, but just to let you know that they're there and you can check it under the OPCA litigants. There's many, many references to them. Binder folds, as I can show you right here, binder folds of info leading them uh, you know, into a category of complete stupidity. They don't make sense in the legal and they don't make sense spiritually in truth. So I'm going to read you out of uh, uh, the McGraw-Hill Insurance Series, Corporate Surety Shift, GW Christ. And what was stated was dealing with negotiable instruments. Uh, birth certificates, these are negotiable instruments. They move around. Uh, in the game of legal existence, it's the literally the player on the board, the play um, game of debt that a holder in due course will actually move around as who he is in existence. And so we're going to read out of the... Uh, corporate surety ship under negotiable instruments, page 365, and it states the following. A negotiable instrument does not in all cases confer upon an innocent holder for value a right of action in his own name, even though it be endowed with these special attributes. The bond of a foreign government is an illustration. The holder may not sue the government if the obligation is in default. Neither may he sue the parties who underwrote, issued, and sold the bonds in behalf of that government. Even in this country, no person, they're talking about legal entities, of his own accord and in his own right, bring a suit against any state or against the federal government in an effort to recover on defaulted state or federal bonds. To that extent, the definition of negotiable instruments must be qualified. So there is a theory that's out there because everything to do with legal is nothing more than an implied social contract theory, the Leviathan, the serpent's contract, and many are passing around that they're going to capture the birth certificate, which is kind of ridiculous because it's not yours. And in essence, they believe that they're going to be a to sue against it for monetary profit what they were denied or robbed well you can't be robbed something out of fiction 
ridiculous theory, ridiculous nonsense. You're not going to sue the issuer. Not going to happen. Why would the serpent allow you to have such a recovery? So we leave it at that. Um, just hopefully you're listening. Your ears are open. Your eyes are open. Um, you're not plugged up with nonsense.